Hey all Turtle here, coming at you with another Pokemon opening. Today we're opening a Rebel Clash ETB. Reminder, we are doing a giveaway this week. We will pick the winner on Friday, and or we'll put out a video Friday announcing the winner. Uh, check out the video from Monday thumbnail. It looks something like this. Uh, it's not gonna be this box because we are opening it. This one probably be a pretty quick opening. I feel like the Rebel Clash, now we have a good idea of the cards that we're looking for. Obviously, I think we still only have like two bosses orders out of all the stuff we've opened. So ironically, you know, a card that's just a foil and yeah, obviously the full art or the rainbow would be ideal. But at this point, hey, look, we're just, we want to make sure we have our play set of bosses orders for once things reopen. We do come with this new playbook every once in a while now. Not that we need that. Um, you know, I'm coming around to the sleeves. I feel like the Cooperage is not the best Pokemon to have on there, but I love the yellow. Kind of got the Yule stuff, and I love these dice. And alright, let's put all this down. <clears throat> and jump into the opening. If you guys haven't seen the... Alright, so they had those Battle Arena decks. What was it, like a year ago? The next set, the League, League Battle decks. Uh, those are still so good. The... The Picaram one with four Jirachis, the Reshizard one a little less, you know, insane, but uh, basically, story. This moral of the story is if you can find them for any kind of sale, I definitely recommend you pick them up, especially if you can find the Picaram one. MSRP is 25 and they pack four Jirachis, which is insane. Okay, we're just going through the uncommons and we're going to hit that rare slot. <clears throat> First pack, we got a Horror Energy, very nice start. Heat more, more Peko. A skunk tank, very off center, almost to the point where these actually, yeah, the bottom is almost cut off. I wonder if you can get one that's off center enough so you don't even see the words. I wonder if that's enough to qualify as a miscut because there's actually details missing from the card. In our first pack, we have a Stojourner, just regular hollow. Hope everyone's having a good day. And uh, yeah, huge shout out to everyone that supports the channel in the various, what the, this is hard to open, in all the various ways that there are, even if you're just simply a subscriber or you attend our Twitch streams, thank you for all the support, things have been awesome, and uh, yeah, recently crossed that thousand th sub threshold, and really happy when we crossed that mark. So here we go into the next pack, we got a Galar Mine, another good pack. Uh, Melodic isn't too crazy so far, but... Definitely a lot of potential, Magikarp and Toxtricity. Nothing too crazy right there. <clears throat> uh, shout outs to our friend Steven on Twitch, who just dropped some information in the Discord as of the time of this recording about a online tournament that is hosted by the Pokemon Company. Uh, although, huge shout out to Limitless and everything that they're doing. But it is cool that they'll have their own kind of thing. So the Capacious Buck is pretty good. Turf Field, big fan of this card. We got the Galarian Weezing. So this card is cool. It has that negation ability when, you know, everyone's talking about that, uh, whatever the the big dark Pokemon that kind of like you have eight and does massive damage, 280 damage if you have like eight Pokemon bent on the bench. This guy just shuts it down, but he needs to be in the active. And okay, we did get a ultra rare out of our ETB. Sometimes you don't get that. We got a Cooper Roger V, kind of a mascot of, or I guess it's probably the V Max though. I do not have any sleeves on me, but we'll put that right there. But yeah, the online tournament, I think that's awesome. And it should be interesting, but I'm not sure if we'll be able to qualify. You know, I imagine you have to do a lot of grinding throughout the better part of June. I'm not sure we'll be able to dedicate enough time to that. And during our streams, I love to do with viewer matches. Capture Energy, I really like this card. Uh, shout outs to Nas, DJ Nas on Twitch. Had a pretty cool way to use this in Turbo Dark. <clears throat> I'm gonna chat it, Drag the Loke, and ooh, Reverse Speed Energy, very nice. I imagine at some point they'll do a secret rare printing of this and maybe it'll be, you know, a set or two down the road. Not a big fan of those delayed secret rares, but uh, for now, reverse speed energies are awesome. Okay, I'm pretty happy with the uncommon slot so far. Rare slot has been not bad. Definitely some ETBs just really shut you out, so you kind of already got par for the course. Twin energy, Heliolisk. Dual Blade, 
Ooh, Tool Scrapper, another useful, although they do have a secret version of this. Hey, we did get a foil or a texture card. Two hits out of ETB, that's that's about sometimes as good as you can ask for. Inteleon V, pretty cool card. Inteleon, don't think it's strong enough, but seems like a fun deck to play. Seems like if, you're, if Inteleon is ahead, it tries to do everything it can just to stay ahead and keep you in the running, but just annoy you, removing energies and such. All right, let's see, we got three packs remaining, pretty quick opening. <clears throat> but once again, yeah, thank you everybody for all the support on the channel. What am I doing with these piles? I'm not sure. Ooh, Phalanx, I actually like that card. Coughing, and then a Chandelure. <clears throat> all right, two packs remaining. All right, still haven't found a boss's order. This is kind of like Jirachi all over again, where it's just a hollow slot. You know, it's not ultra rare. But it's kind of, it's pretty rare. <laughs> it's pretty hard to find. Uh, I think one interesting thing is you just take a uncommon. Remember in Unified Minds where we were just looking for that reverse Tortuga. You can open hundreds of packs and not find it. Palo Sand, Oliena, Shuckle is our reverse, and then a Arcanine. Okay guys, last pack. We already got two hits, but can we finish this box off? Three hits is a home run as far as the ETB goes. Can we do it? From the side, it didn't look too promising. But here we go. Dual Blade, a Lombre, a Hatrum, a Palpitoad is our reverse. And once again, guys, thank you all for watching and thanks for all the support on the channel. Cremrant, I'm Wanda Turtle. And I'll catch you guys next time. Oh, don't forget to enter the giveaway. We'll announce, we'll have a video on Friday announcing the winner. And that's it.